E and e here. Today we're going to discuss the price increase of a card from an old set that is a monquette. We're talking about Rona's the Indomitable. For two and one green, it's a legendary creature god. This is a mythic god, the god of Amonkhet, the green god of Amonkhet. It has quite interesting abilities. It's a 5 5 that touch indestructible. Can't attack or block unless you control a creature with power 4 or greater. For two and one green, another target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gain trample until end of turn. This card, this card was already strong when Amonkhet was released, and we're talking. 2017, two years ago, it was a very strong card, it was a very strong green card at that time, it was seeing even play in standard, but today we're going to discuss why this card is spiking again in price. Let's see here the graph, let's put our Ronas here, this is my personal copy, let's see here the graph, we see that really and truly it had a flat, quite a flat line of its price then as soon as throne of eldrin was released and 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 here it is the spike and as soon as pioneer was announced and more importantly as soon as certain cards like once upon a time like veil of summer the copter once these cards, Field of the Dead, once the cards were banned from Pioneer, we're seeing that this card is gaining price, and that means that this card is being highly demanded because of the Pioneer format. You can see here that the card is reaching a price of $13, which is a very high price, obviously, after the rotation. During, during the standard, the card was around the highest peak was around $20 and I, if I'm not mistaken I think it was around $15 average during the card was playable in standard then obviously after the reputation we see a drop in price and it stabilized between $5 and $6 it remained $5 and $6 obviously it is, it is quite a good card this is also in commander maybe can see a little bit play in modern it, but you have to remember that it's a mythic card and mythics they are quite rare to find, especially from a set that it's two years old. And that's explain why the card remained at around five to six dollars. Then, as I said, once Pioneer, once we the, the bands in green were announced, we saw a big spike in price only because people are focusing on Ronas the Indomitable to replace those banned cards. As I said, the card nowadays is being traded at around 13 dollars. Probably it can see more, more play. If it can see more play, the price of this card will increase. Let's see the foil version of the card. Here, the foil version, same thing. The card was being traded at around 10 dollars. Then, once the standard card, once the non foil cards, spikes in price usually usually see the same thing for the foil version i must admit that for 17 dollars the foil version of ronas and remember it's a mythic card it's quite not very expensive the highest price reached by this card was 27 dollars obviously we're talking during the card was in standard so that explains why the high cost mythic cards in foil they are quite rare to find I assure you, even in a case, usually you don't find one mythic foil, which is very rare. And that explains why it has the highest price of $27 and nowadays being traded at $17. There is another version of this card. That is the Amonkhet Invocation version of Ronas. I've heard a lot of complaints regarding the, the card, the frame of the card the Yu-Gi-Oh type frame of the card or ancient Egyptian type of card with I must admit with it's very difficult to read the cards in this type of font but even even though these cards 
even though these cards they are not played, these are collectible cards, they are quite expensive. Nowadays, even this card is seen as a price of around $43. Highest price ever reached was $80. Obviously, we're talking about the peak or the hype of the Among Cat Invocation. Nowadays, it's being traded around $43. You can see here that really and truly, it doesn't banning and banning the cards, it doesn't affect the price of these particular cards because these particular cards, talking about the invocations, these cards, they are deemed as collectible. People don't play with these, very rarely I saw people playing these. These are collectible and when something, a card, is a collectible item, it is rarely being played and that means that if a card is being needed or used in a particular deck, like Pioneer or Modern in this case, we see that these cards don't go up in price parallel with the version of the normal, let's say standard version of the card. There's something really interesting to analyze that if you want to play Rona's the Indomitable, if you want to put this card in your deck, you will probably go for a normal card, non-foil, instead of going to a foil or a special collectible card version of that card. Usually they are more expensive, as I said, they are collectible items, you don't find a lot in the market, and therefore, if you want to play, play with the non-foil, these cards are there to be played with. In the sense of the invocations and foil, I must admit that these cards are more targeting collectors than players. You can leave me a comment below what you think about Rona's Dean Domitable. If you think this card is quite good in Pioneer or Modern, and here the subscription button, subscribe for my channel for more interesting videos like this one about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.